Woo! We are recording. Okay, so... The thing about y'all... Is that you have been... Trying to work out what the fuck happened to some bandits. Ever since you met some bandits and had to... Um, convince them to pursue a better, more fulfilling line of work like prostitution and or commit minor welfare fraud. Um, However, you had successfully convinced them to do so, uh, showed up to their base to go get the rest of their buddies, and realized they they were missing. And this begun the Missing Bandit Saga. Um, During which... You happen to locate the guy you were looking for. Blurbo. Who happen- who happens to be Set's roommate and nothing else. Um, Definitely. And they were roommates. And they were roommates. Um, so... Oh who wants to talk about what last session ended up being? Um... Well, Actually, Jamie, were you here for either of the last two sessions? I was here when we uh when uh we ended we ended we ended the session just as combat started it and uh it started with I think peace bonding uh adder. Yep. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that. If we want to do recap from that point forward, that might be great. Let's see. Um, so I've got May 18th, so this is session 18, I believe. Um, so Kairos, the masked man, um, ended up, like, saying Adder's name. Um, Uh, basically, the other guy that was there, Finn... Wait, hold on. Did I miss an entire thing? No, I think we're okay. Um, basically, um, the masked man, um, that we found out was Kairos, um, ended up running up to the other guy, Finn, uh, because Adder had ran to Soot, kinda. Like, they're... They were more interested in what was going on with each other than, like, fighting other people. Um. <laughs> uh. The Finn ran, or no, it was the masked man that ran over to Finn, grabbed Finn, and vanished and teleported somewhere. Um. Soot sent, sent Matchbox after them to give chase. Um. They, they were much more ahead of us. Um. I think it was, was it Skylar and Cal that got Yoinked by the mask power, I think, right? Yeah. Like, they got charmed by it. They basically were told to Yoink. be friendly towards him. Um, and when that happened, you guys didn't see a man with a mask. You saw just a scared half elf man, right? I think I said half elf, yeah. I think I think it was a half elf man, but basically you were friendly towards him and didn't want to fight him. Um because, you know, the masked man's somewhere else. Um, I took pity on a, on a fellow min-maxer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That kind of ended after we knocked out the gold trawlers because the masked man sent the gold trawlers after us. Um, Ring of Dogs went and talked to their buddies, um, oh who were all also like, mass-controlled, but, like, they're chilling with each other because they didn't get ordered by the mask dude to attack us. Um, knocked out the gold trawlers, took them, and put them on the cart. Um, the masked guy and Finn ended up escaping. Um, what else was there? Uh, we ended up figuring out that the enchantment type of the magic is probably time-based, so it would wear off eventually, since it seems to be enchantment-based. Um... What else? Um, we found out that Finn was the one that injured the people at the camps, um, and the people that were injured ended up 
taking some of their friend's potions. Um, Adder also helped with that, but he wouldn't stab anybody. Um, sorry, I'm just reading through my notes to see what's good here. Um, Adder, Adder was further up north. <laughs> he was further north when Kairos ended up finding him and like recruiting him. Um, apparently. I, we still don't know what he was doing up there. Um. Noise. Yeah, noise. <laughs> uh. Adder was told that people were told to go to the right fork and take that path and wait for him. So that was kind of where we were going. Um, and we assume that Kairos is bringing them back to the main- his main camp area. Um, since that was, like, from where we were probably a couple day journey, like one or two days or something, maybe. Maybe more. Maybe less. <clears throat> Who's to say? Who's to say? Adder's blind, and he was the one telling us the details. And also they transported a couple of times in between there, so who knows. Um, and then the next session, um, was a lot of, like, Aya trying to talk with them a little bit to figure out if there was any information we could get from Adder. Soot and Adder had a conversation about personal shit. <laughs> was the gay. entire party overheard um, Soot and Adder um, be extremely gay, but in that way where, you know, they're just roommates. You know. So cool. Oh, I'm they so... Only, you know. <laughs> they've only been together their entire lives. It's fine. They only grew up together and, and lived in the same place and had a big miscommunication and thought one was a burden um, to each other and neither of them were burdened. Smile. Um, <laughs> um, what else? Okay. Yeah. So, like, five hours into the journey, I think, after we had, like, gotten them free from the masked dude, it seems like some of the effects are wearing off. They still think that he's, like, like you know, a man with a face instead of a masked face and, like, kind of alright with it, but they're, like, starting to be like, yeah, that guy's an asshole. Um, <laughs> what else? Uh, we figured out that it might be... Well, it's most likely a curse that this mask has on it, where um, it wasn't able to be removed. Aya had tried during the fight to remove the mask specifically and wasn't able to. Um, and with a series of very high arcana rolls, um, we figured out that there is most likely a curse that it cannot be removed by him, whether he wants it to or not. Um, also... Uh, Fern said something about maybe the guy not having a face under that. Who knows? Um, I heard was being a little bit more metaphorical than that, yeah. but yeah, yeah, basically, yeah. <laughs> um, that like basically the concept of like the guy is the mask now, and they may separating them might not be possible. Mm-hmm. Sorry. No, you're good. I that was very good. Um, I don't Thank know. You. <laughs> I don't <laughs> have anything else written down. I think we were just doing some planning after that about um yeah. what strategy we wanted to take to like infiltrate the camp and stuff and we talked about like I I mean we could talk about it more today, but yeah, also we, there we just, there was some, we discussed some the plans. We discussed especially in regards to, like, the whole he's your friend thing. Mm -hmm. um, but we di I don't think we did anything concrete. Yeah. The current, the current idea is that we're the, the camp is sort of um, where Clarice and his, his uh, buddy Finn stay in the center. And then there's a ring of the people he's kidnapped around them, and we're gonna use um, Adder to get us past that ring mm -hmm. initially, so we don't have to like deal with a bunch of randos. Yeah, because we we assume that Kyrus has not told them that like Yo Adder might be dead because he we left him behind, um, because 
this guy loses people all the time or they just don't come back sometimes and nobody just like does anything about it so we're banking on the account of like these people have seen Adder around before they might not question him coming back with a band of bandits like their other buddy um so that might buy us and some time that way we can get into Kairos fast as possible so he can't so we can limit his ability to try to uh, charm the party out from under us, essentially. Mm -hmm. And we've also figured out that it's mostly, like, you hearing the enchantment. Um, he just needs to know where you are, probably. Um, doesn't really have to see you or anything. Assumed, anyways. He just has to know you're there. And can affect you. As long as you can hear him, I believe, so... That's as much as we did, I believe. Hmm. And, uh, just for Jamie's sake, because Skylar was, um, under the influence of the mask for a moment there, um, what happened was they had seen the man with the mask, um, in the center of the combat, where they had previously seen him, and then, when they looked again, the man with the mask wasn't there. The only person they could see where he had been was just a guy who looked scared and distressed by the combat and wanted everybody to put their weapons down, please. And that was a pretty reasonable request to you. Yeah, of course, you know, like... Sometimes people just have have had enough of uh, violence and just want to give it all up. I guess they they just wanted uh -huh. an end to the fighting. Um, mm -hmm. And right. as a fact, uh, your companions told you, uh, "No, that was the man in the mask." No, no. It, it it doesn't really seem like it was. Because they must the man be with the mask was not there. That guy wasn't wearing a mask. However, the more you think about it, the weirder it feels that you just put your weapon down in the middle of combat. Yeah. And so, as more time passes, you are lending more <clears throat> credence to like, okay, I did get fucking whammied. I don't think that was the man in the mask, but I know logically it must have well, been. Well, the thing is, she doesn't like admitting she's wrong. <laughs> sometimes. So, mm -hmm. she just stays quiet about it and uh, continues to vaguely put up some sort of argument, but her, no. Um, yeah, no, she's just, yeah. She thinks right. she's gonna, uh, I can't wait to see this dick again. Maybe one day, someday, soon. Who's to say? Who is to say? Um, but yeah, and so you guys ended up having made camp, making pursuit after the man in the mask who had um, gone, presumably, to meet up with the others that he had kidnapped from the bandit camp. Um, Aya did some studying of a map and came up with some plausible locations for um, the bandit, for Kairos's camp to be located. And as mentioned, there was a brief strategy meeting which can be continued or otherwise, but you guys have currently made camp and with you, you have your original four ring of dogs that you adopted. The four ring of dogs that you rescued from Kairos, and then four gold trawlers who um, you have deemed a ring of dog problem. And the ring of dog, the eight ring of dogs are now having to look after the four gold trawlers and four of the ring of dogs are like, these are my buddies. So it's fine. And the, your original four are like, dude, these are gold trawlers. Hello. Mm -hmm. So that's what's going on. Um. Oh, also, uh, Adder and Victor have some fucking energy. Yeah. 
There, there was some snarking going on. Um, yeah. Tell your boyfriend if he's got beef that I'm a vegetarian and I ain't fucking scared of him. That was the energy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was that was the the adder Victor uh, hostility. Yep. The MLM Wallowa hostility. Exactly. <laughs> Fuck solidarity. We go straight to hostility. Directly to hostility. <laughs> Sorry, I was gonna say. Never mind. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was just gonna be like, from where Soot's from, that's how it goes. <laughs> that is, there's just, there is only hostility there. Do you have any questions, Jamie? No, not really. All right. That being the case, um, you guys, it is evening on Desmond's 23rd. I finally updated the calendar. Woo! And you have some planning done. Mm-hmm. You have a bunch of random bandits who are just kind of also making camp near you guys. And the night so far is yours. Woo. I mean, should we? We should probably set up watches, but with this many people, we could probably get just the ring of dogs to do it. No, I'm going to be taking a watch. I won't. Oh, I'm not going to trust my safety to people I'm not really sure of, so. Fair. You know, for once, I think me and Skylar are on the same page. Yeah. Well, I'm not the best at taking watches. Hmm. We do have a few extra people. We can spread it out a little bit. I would just rather not entirely trust uh, our friends. Yeah. I'd be happy to take a watch, but uh, I'm not sure I can do much watching. It was a joke. It was a joke. So, so is gonna um, turn to Adder and just be like, I mean, I want to have a couple conversations with you, so... I don't know if that's uh, in favor of us watching or not watching. Probably no watches. I am no longer happy to take a watch. <laughs> <laughs> I figure we can spread it out one at like... Yeah. You guys um, can buddy up with various and sundry, bandit, ring of dogs, gang, and yourselves, and split up your watches pretty evenly. If you have any pairing requests for the watch, <laughs> pick your buddy. Any, any buddy system requests, otherwise, it can be a party member and a, a ring of dog or. What, just let like, me know what I, you want to do for the I watches. I feel like the concept of that, they, they, all of them get very nervous about Aya and Victor real quick, so Aya and Victor end up taking a watch together. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, this is likely. Victor and Aya watch so as to not scare Ring of Dogs. <laughs> No, Alright, you end up with a random ring of dog. Yes. Um, if Fern takes a watch, any ring of dog would be happy to watch with them. Uh, sure. Alright. Um, you guys can all make some perception checks. And, um, 
Ren, I'm assuming you have some words you'd like to have. With the boy, yes. With the lad. The, the man, even. Oh, fun. Oh, well. Oh. Oops. You're having a really nice conversation with Mace. Oof. Mm. Um, and nothing goes disastrously wrong. Yay. And I will roll for Aya, because I've just remembered that I am in charge of her. <laughs> Joe was very sweet. She sent me a message like, please don't kill my bird. And I was like, I will absolutely um, probably not kill your bird. Uh, bird, bird. Is good, though. bird perceives. Perceive bird. As does Skylar. And you don't notice anything beyond your usual nighttime things. Nobody's on the road this late. There's some wild animals going on, but not really anything alarming by any means. Okay. Hmm. So, Ren. Hello. Um, I mean, probably once Watch has started, so it would have, like, made sure Adder was, like, settled for the night. Like, do you need a sleep shirt? I have extras, probably. I don't know if they'll fit. Uh, <laughs> uh like... He, he gets settled. He does uh, borrow a shirt because he is wearing a slightly coarser than his usual tunic and leather armor and you know. Yeah, that's not comfy. Not the vibes. It's a little tight on him, a little loose on you, but it makes it work. Um, and he gets settled in for sleep. Being normal, as you do. Yep. Yeah, so it gets settled. Um, Mm, you know what? Fuck it. Matchbox be Ponyi. We'll see. <laughs> Alright, uh, high or low? Let's go low. Low? Yeah. Alright, that's a six. Yeah! <laughs> Matchbox be a Ponyi. Sit promised Matchbox time. Here you go. Uh, when Matchbox arrives, Adder is elated. Pet the boy, ruffle his face, get his ear licked, as you do. Mm hmm. Um, just. Oh, good boy. You've done so. You brought him around a lot today. I. Been able to do that. Mm, maybe. Two years? Wow. It's just. I feel like he hardly ever came uh, before. Certainly not more than once in a day. Yeah, I agree with that. Um, I'd say... Hmm. Is it just because he's a nice, friendly boy? Yes, it is. Mm. I mean, I find it easier to summon him much quicker and he stays longer. Just, uh, adept at the summoning of creatures now, I suppose. I suppose. At least this one and he'll kind of ruffle him, him neck a little bit. Well, this is the only one that matters. <laughs> Do you agree with you? Oh, though I did... Ah, I forgot to mention this one. Have a horse now! <laughs> a horse? Yeah. One you of the know, horses out there? I... Name's Eloise. I call it Eloise for short. It's <laughs> a good name. There's a little one back at the orphanage with that same name. Ah. Oh. 
How are things back home? <sighs> um... I mean, I could talk a long time about that. Um... Are you asking Orphanage in specific, or me? Well, I had been asking Orphanage, but frankly, I'd prefer you. Can't see it. There is a little bit of a flush. <laughs> Hatter is um, oblivious. Yep. He kind of, like, clears his throat a little bit at that. Well, Orphanage, as far as I remember, was doing just fine before I left. I mean, there's always new children. And... I mean... Little ones are still enjoying uh, listening to my tales, at least. They haven't gotten tired of me yet. <laughs> of course not. How could they? Uh, you'd be surprised. The older they get, the less they want to listen to me. Well, the older they get, the less they want to listen to anybody. We were the same way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree with you. It's a lot less interesting listening to the grown-ups. Especially when you know that they're just kind of doing it to distract you. Yeah. Um, they'll let them grow up. They'll be coming. They'll come crawling back. <laughs> um. What about the rest of the fun? How? How? I'm trying to figure out how to put this into... Well, I didn't necessarily... What do I want to start with? I don't know. Um... I guess I can start with why I left. It wasn't... Hi, do. It wasn't exactly, uh... my own choosing, necessarily. Um, do you remember the, the benefits that used to go on the, uh, I forget if it's, like, a dance party or whatever that the Baroness would put on, um. I, yeah. Well, with their the last year, or year before that, technically, was just fine kind of boring, just was there for the food. Went there again, um, you know, to get food and enjoy some beverages that I didn't have to pay for. As um, you do. But it didn't quite, um, got into a spot of trouble. Ah. Uh, <laughs> that night- I was gonna event. <sighs> Yeah, yeah, no, you'd think I wouldn't get into trouble in places like that, but, um, I'm a highway for that. Ah. Uh, I was... It was such a day. The voices were being so much. I had to step out for a minute. It, they were... I don't even remember what they were rambling on, but it was so hard to think. And I didn't necessarily need to think, but, you know, when your head's just all of that, it just doesn't... Anyways, I stepped out for a minute and, um... Ended up calling them a few choice words. As, as I'm one to do Probably. sometimes. Uh, the Baroness happened to be in the same room. And the, uh, the same room as the choice words. Uh, yeah, um, and I really did think I was talking to her, um... Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, she probably wasn't happy about that. Yeah, and you know, um, as well as I do, that she's not a forgiving sort. And definitely, um... Well... Anyways, I ended up skedaddling out of there somehow. Um, got home. Uh, but, you know, her people ended up coming knocking. I wasn't necessarily around there, but Theremin was, and, um, 
told me to be careful, and the voices, oh boy, the voices wanted me out. Uh, and I ended up seeing them... Well, not seeing them doing anything necessarily, but I knew they were following me. I ended up taking my stuff that I had packed, and I <laughs> ran as fast as I could off the road. That was a couple months back now, I think. Oh, fuck. Shit. I don't think they've stopped either. Well. It's so annoying sure, because I tried to- I tried to apologize and she just wouldn't listen to me. She- you know. I'm an ungrateful- uh, just uh, and he just like puts his head in his hands. He like like uh, no, he buries his face into Matchbox's ruff and just sighs into it. <laughs> Adder Adder reaches out. Um grabs your shoulder, squeezes, and then reaches down to pet Matchbox is like Hey, boy, who wants to go fight a baroness? <laughs> I'll just... give her some choice words of my own that are meant for her. <laughs> I do appreciate that, but I think that she'd probably have her people, um... Well, I, I feel like they'd probably be able to take us on quite easy. At least that's what I'm afraid of. If the voices didn't want me anywhere near it. I think, I think they should be scared of me. <laughs> I think they should too. Um, I, frankly, I intend to, uh, uh, take on a lot of them, all at once. <sighs> I don't want you to do I mean, something that stupid, for, though. For God's sake, like, even if you had been speaking to her, she can fucking deal with it. I know, she's just- she's literally so fucking rich, why would she care? Like, it's just- oh my god. It's and not that hard, just ignore some fucking insults, kick you out of the uh, event if you must, but don't fucking send people after you. Especially. I just- God. I tried to explain it and she just wouldn't hear it. Just nothing at all. Yeah, cause she's a fucking bitch. There, there's a snort from Soot, but he, he does not say anything about it, because he agrees. <laughs> I... God. Fucking... I'd do it. I'd punch a noble woman. <laughs> Look, I'd peace bone the hell out of her if I thought it would work. Maybe I'll send matches to go bite her a couple times. <laughs> I think... I think... I don't know. I don't know. I've... <sighs> I'm quite angry about that, frankly. It's its turn to kind of um, reach out to Adder and kind of like... He, he's gonna reach for his hand and put his... like, grab the hand and then put one other hand on top of his and just kind of give it a little bit of a squeeze that way. It'll be all right. It's kind of the least of the problems right now, I guess. As long as I stay my distance away and, I don't know, keep as low of a profile as I can be for now. I don't think they can really do anything about it. It's not like I broke the law. No, I mean, probably... Probably, like... Legally speaking, you're just fine, but... But, but does she- what, but when has that woman ever given a fuck? I know. She's really <sighs> fucking prideful, ain't she? I fucking... Wish I... Should've... <sighs> well, I'm not letting you go to events to get free food without me from now on, that's for damn sure. Thank god. It's really fucking boring. Someone's got to keep an eye out for, uh, stupid nobles. <laughs> sure. 
Though I think I can find those ones just fine. <sighs> so you've just been... Mm -hmm. Just been on the road since? Just... Just... Yeah. I mean, the circus thing you mentioned, I suppose, but... Yeah, it's just been a bunch of travel. Uh, didn't really stay in any place longer than a couple weeks. Week at most, usually. Right. Um... At that point, the voices got a little bit, um... Not anxious. They don't get anxious. They get... Rowdy? Mm hmm Anyways. Well, on the one hand... Uh, seems maybe like they're looking out for you. On the other hand, uh... It's their fucking fault you're in this in the first place. I've told them this several times, and they just don't seem to care. They, I think they did it on purpose, quite honestly. Fuckers. <laughs> so just nods. And he's, he kind of frowns a little bit. Um, well, that was a lot of me talking about myself. I wanted to get you here to talk to you more about what the hell you've been doing for the last, like, two years. Oh. Oh, you know. Moving. Try to... Just, uh... I mean, when I left, I just p picked a direction. Went away from the forest, direct as I could. Um, discovered pretty quick some logistical difficulties of uh, travel, especially traveling on my own. Hi. But, uh,. kept going for a while. Took me a while to get anywhere. Um, fell in with a couple people who were... said they were headed for the coast. Um, figure coast is not a bad place to be. So, went with them for a bit. Uh, Got a sword. Felt like a fucking swordsman in one of your tails. So it just grins widely and he, he chuckles a little bit. I mean, I who trusted me with a sword? <laughs> I well, mean, I who would. Who in their right mind would give me a sword? I mean, I think it would be funny. But also. Exactly. He kind of he kind of reaches over to where he uh, took off the sword and set it aside in the tent and just sort of pats it and I think probably the humorous element was sort of what they were going for too but also can't say I recommend it <laughs> but I've been practicing with it for a while now um more than a year at this point well, that's good um. And I'm really not bad at it. Um, considering. Hmm. But. You know, they were going to the coast, and I. sort of stopped. At some point, tried to. find a place to. stop, see if I could stop. You know, just. See if I'd be all right if I, if I wasn't moving directly away. Um, tried that for a little bit at a time. Stopped in one place for about three weeks. Decided to get up and move again. Another, I made it about two and a half months. Moved again. Made it to Camlin stayed for six months 
now. I was getting restless, I suppose. I keep wanting to go. Go. Go back. Turn around. The whole time I wanted to turn around. Every step I took for two years, I wanted to turn around. So it squeezes his hand a little bit. And I couldn't really tell which which was, you know. I wanted to turn around because because of, of the of the forest, or if I wanted to turn around because of, because I missed a home, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I was so. Restless in Camelin. I met some good people there, but not. Try to keep myself a little busy, but there's not much, not much I can really do. There's um, not a, a huge selection of things there aside from I don't know an ice cream shop. <laughs> oh. How oh, did you go to Lana's? Aye. <laughs> that woman's crazy. We tried the spice cream. <laughs> no, Soot, you didn't. <laughs> Wasn't actually you didn't. that bad. That meant for gnomes, Soot. I mean, we kind of erased with a couple of gnomes. <laughs> he just shrugs. <laughs> sure, but that doesn't mean. I mean, that stuff's awful. I don't know, it was just spicy. <laughs> I know it was spicy. I tried it too. <laughs> hey, we're both curious people. Have to at least try it once. With a name like spice cream, you kind of got to try it. I mean, you do, but at what cost? Your taste buds? <laughs> yeah. Maybe Not a little bit of your dignity stuff. too if you choke on it. <laughs> <laughs> right. <sighs> but, you know, I just... I just... You couldn't stay still? Right. No, I... I relate to that at least. some of the reasons why I did what I did. <sighs> what, the part where you per cursed out a noble, or the part where you were? <laughs> I mean, that was kind of the, the tip of the iceberg. Um, it's mostly, uh, I don't know, constantly working. <laughs> <sighs> well, you did that plenty enough before. Well, I didn't know what else to do with myself. <laughs> hmm. Always have to have something to do. And with you gone, there was nothing. <laughs> Literally nothing else in my life, so... <sighs> I guess, I mean, that's why... I mean, I didn't really know it at the time, um, well, you had told me a bit about why you left and it was, you know, the forest and being uneasy. Uh, I suppose I forgot to mention, mostly because I was talking about other things, um, weird growth there, um, trees popping up in the last two years that were so small and they're fucking Ooh. huge now. Oh, lovely. It's yeah, no, I I noticed it and 
Uh, yeah, no, it's it's creeped me out a bit. I myself too. So. Um... <laughs> and here I thought all the feeling of the forest swallowing me up was metaphorical. Yeah, I thought so too. Honestly, um, I didn't really pay attention much to the forest until, well, you were gone. You had other things to worry about, and I didn't necessarily have the same... I wouldn't call it... You can call it fair, it's alright, I'm so terrified of the damn place. Sure. I don't have the same fear as you, but it does make me uneasy. Oh, may the whole thing rot and burn. I could try and speed that up. <laughs> uh, deforestation. I'm sure the we forest would kind of love that. For that. <laughs> Look, if it comes to keeping our places the, away from the forest, I could definitely burn a tree or two. <laughs> forest be damned. <sighs> I mean, I don't know. At the moment, I'm just happy I've stayed as far as I have. It's running a bit of an experiment going north to see if, if I was going north, which is, geographically speaking, according to somebody I asked, who can look at a map. Going north was taking me closer to home, technically. But not farther towards the forest directly. So I sort of wanted to see if I could go a little ways that wasn't directly away, you know. Mm. Get closer, but not too close. I was going to ask why you went north. I was hoping you weren't going to, like, the mountains. I talked with a Caden Kalian man, and he, he said that place was really fucking dangerous. Hi, the mountains, sort of. There's some weird stories about the mountains. I don't know this. Like, there's some weird stories about the mountains. I don't, I don't want to go to the mountains, but those are, there's, there's maybe a giant dragon there. Or maybe... Maybe giants, just in general. Yeah, Maybe no. a necromancer. There's yeah. a lot of... I don't really... I don't want to go deal with All of it sounds all like that. a terrible vacation. Doesn't sound like good fun at all. I don't yeah. even like mountains. And it's cold. There's probably birds there. Oh, there's probably so many birds. There's got to be birds there. It's mountains. Big, terrible birds. Terrible birds. <laughs> <laughs> and here I thought I was safe from birds. No, unfortunately, I've brought one along. <laughs> she seems nice enough. I. Out of all of them, I think I is a pretty good one. Cal, especially. Decent. Ferns also. You'll have to pardon me if I don't agree with you on that one. <laughs> <laughs> you were directly threatened, so. All, all I know really about Cal is that their claws are sharp. That was true. And they don't seem too fond of me. Just... Oh... Uh... Yeah. I'll keep an eye. Hopefully none of them try to hurt you. I don't think they will, but... If they do, I'm taking it as free game to hurt him right back, so don't you worry about me. Alright. I'd back you up on it. So just don't go poking bears, though. Mm. I would hate for you to get on the bad side mm. of a couple of them, at least. What, like mm. the good Mr. Victor? I've poked mm. that one a few times. Not exactly on purpose, but also not exactly on accident, either. She's keen on poking, I'll poke back. <sighs> but, um... 
like I've said, they're... They're people that I don't necessarily know very well. So... I... Um... In fact... I was going to ask you... Well... I mentioned Navi. Um... Victor had... And... So it's going to kind of explain a little bit of the access thing, like how we ended up, uh, or how Sky, or not Skylar, <laughs> how Victor had, um, ended up talking with the dwarves and convincing him that we were part of the axis um, for taking out of, uh, not a debt, but a, a life debt. Yeah, yeah. So basically explain how that ended up happening, um, and how that we learned through Navi that at least he was a little involved in the Axis and that we were kind of working on proving stuff. Um, Sit will mention, though, that he's not exactly keen on joining the Axis, but, you know, we're here and he kind of has to be part of it at this point. <laughs> you know, I've been wondering why you, uh... Where you found out about where I ended up? I suppose it makes sense. It was Nami. Yeah, she was kind of um. I wouldn't necessarily say worried, but at least curious where you'd gone. That one was curious about a lot of things. Um. Well, I'm glad at least she was curious. Then I knew where you were. I, uh, like I said, I, uh, ended up, um, falling in with a couple folks for a little while. Um, and they, you know, they said they'd do me a favor. Um, And I appreciated their help very much. They got me a long ways. Um, before we parted ways, I mean, they gave me a sword. They did a lot for me. Um, and seems only right to be willing to repay that favor when I need to. Um, whatever they think I can do for them, or whatever anybody thinks I can do for them, really, but... I Ended up... Asha, um, in Camlin. My roommate, I guess. He, uh... He was doing a favor as well. Hmm. Not exactly a... truly well-funded individual at the moment, so... It's not like I could... Pay a fair share of rent. Right. We did end up meeting uh, Aja before we left, mostly to. I don't know. See if we could figure out where exactly you were. Because we weren't really expecting to find you, um. with a bandit quarry. <laughs> Can't say I was expecting to find myself here either, if I'm being perfectly fucking honest. <laughs> Well, either way, you're here. That's good. I'm here. I'm here. Hope, hope Hosh is doing well. He's a good enough man, I suppose. Seemed fine at the time. Oh, um, and Sid is going to rummage around in his pockets and find the, um, the earring that he had fixed. I don't know if you've lost any, um, I had, along with the, uh, extra blindfold, I ended up finding a loose earring jammed in the uh, dresser that you left behind. Oh. There was also a tunic there, but I didn't take it with because I felt like it would be weird to, like, take her clothes. Um, As if you've not stolen the clothes before. I mean, I have done that before, but I just, uh, around so many people, probably would be Odd. Anyways, um, it was a little bit bent. I did fix it, so 
and he's going to put it in his hand. Adder holds it and feels it and... Oh, I wonder where this had gone. Thought I lost it ages before I left. Well, it was jammed up in the uh, dresser there. Obviously, you probably couldn't feel it. So... Um, hmm. Would you put it in for me? So it takes a moment and he blinks about it. Uh, yeah, sure. Hands it to you. Yeah. So, yeah. You know the drill, so it's probably blushing a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, while he's doing this too, he's just going to, like, mention too, he's like, I ended up finding a nice pair myself, actually. Not, not studs like this or anything, but, um, they were like a nice blue and green and silver. Oh, that sounds lovely. Felt oh, really nice. He will put the earring in. I don't know which one is missing, but you know. He is actually not wearing eye earrings in either ear at the moment, so. But he will present his right ear for you to put it in. Okay. So it does pause at putting it in. Um. And he's like, hmm. You know what? And he's going to take off one of the other ear his other earrings. And um, after he's put one of them in, he's going to put the other one in his ear. <laughs> it's a little heavier, but um, there. Now it's a matching pair. Well, apparently it's not quite matching. Well. I mean, with me. Oh! Oh! Then I, I can... Yeah. Of course. Um... Oh, I also have... I ended up finding it with the bandits. And he kind of, like, has, like, the that, like little bit of a, like, giddy, excited sound to his voice. And he goes and rummages in his packs for that, that other perception earring. And he's uh -huh, going to uh -huh. put it in. He's like... It was one of those, like, magical things. I think it ends up giving you a little more perception. I'm going to wear it, though, just because I'm, um... As keen as I am in the mind, it's not exactly translated outside. <laughs> you can say it. My powers of observation greatly rival your own. <laughs> I mean, at this point, it's true. <laughs> oh, I'd be sad if it, if, if it were anybody else. <laughs> There. Well, now we're both a mess. That's fine. I think we're both devilishly handsome. <laughs> sure. I will have to agree. Of course. <sighs> oh, um, what else? There's some other shit I wanted to talk about. What did I want to talk about? Hmm. I gotta look at my notes. I can't okay, believe you haven't remembered every single thing you wanted to say to me after two years. I mean, there's liter- I could literally go on for a couple days. Honestly. Frankly, I'm- frankly, I'm disappointed. Hmm. Okay, I think I actually said most of the stuff I wanted to talk about. <laughs> I thought I was just gonna- I really am sorry, so Um... Hmm... I'm trying to figure out how he would... Um, hold on a moment. Ren is buffering. I am too, for what it's worth. But... <sighs> when you left, it was me being angry at myself for a little bit, and then a little bit angry at you, but also not angry. God, that was all so confusing. I was just... 
probably, probably should be angry at me. But I don't want to be. Look, you... You left because you were uncomfortable, and I... The last thing I want is for you to be... Unhappy. Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna apologize for leaving, but I'm gonna apologize for being stupid and leaving you behind. That I'll accept at least. Welcome to be pissed at me for that. So it's okay. gonna give him a little bit of like a, a punch in the shoulder. <laughs> ah, preparations. Plenty where that came from. But still, don't leave me behind again, please. I don't think I could take it a second time. I won't. I won't. You better not. I need somebody to read the fucking map for me, don't I? I'm no cartographer, but I could do my best. You've got working eyes. That's all I ask. <laughs> I'm really glad to see you. I'm glad to see you too. Really glad. Or, you know. I know what you mean. The funny the funny thing to to have said would have been I wish I could say the same, you know. That would have been <laughs> missed a perfectly good fucking opportunity there. Um just have to go be all fucking sentimental about it instead. <laughs> Who even am I such? Just an opportunity to make a blind joke. You're a blind man. That's what you are. I can't believe this. I hate to break it to you. I changed. <laughs> you can't always be funny. Yes, I can. Uh... Excuse me. <laughs> are you saying I'm not? I mean, you can. So I'm just saying that you can sacrifice some of it to be a little bit cheesy at times. <sighs> Cheesy. When have I ever been cheesy? Well, I don't know. There's been a couple of times. <laughs> yeah. No. No. Hasn't happened. Oh, yes. I'm sure there's plenty of people that could say the same. Everybody would corro corroborate my story. Yes, the letters at home totally don't say that you've done so much for these people. And he's so just going Science. to ramble on. <laughs> no. Adder protests this indignity. <laughs> and unless there is anything else specific the boys need to talk about, you guys just rest. Can wrap up your conversation and go to sleep. Though, mm, how cold is it gonna get at night? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's the equivalent of May, so, you know, the night will get a little on the chilly end, for sure. So, so we'll, like, scooch bedrolls close and they can share blankets and... As, as they must. Sh shrug if cuddle? Who cares? Who knows? Who's to say if they cuddle? <laughs> they do, but who's to say? Who's to say? With, with the dog there. <laughs> the dog is also there. Um... Eventually, Matchbox ends up, like, in between you guys, and he's not sorry about it. <laughs> it's fine. He's a good boy. But yeah, that, that is how it will. Sad he sort of satisfied, at least for now. Alright. And with that, considering as uh, I, Victor's taking a watch with Aya, who is not here... And everybody else is chilling with Ring of Dogs people who are not going to have much interesting to say. I think we can carry on to the morning. Ren, there's a little bit of a background noise from your end, like kind of a... Hmm? Uh, there's a... It like, sounds like speaker feedback. I think your Bluetooth might be like... There's a little something something going on on okay. your end. Yeah. Okay, well that's not... Hold on a moment. Which has been so gently driving me insane. Oh, damn it. Hold on. I'm so sorry. It's okay. I just didn't want to say anything while I was in the zone. 
Okay, um... Give me a minute. I don't know what's it's wrong. It's gone now. Yeah, for sure. It's gone now? Okay, well, I just wiggled my thing. Maybe it's fixed. It's that you know what it's you know what it sounded like to me. It sounded like something vibrating against something else. It's that might have been now. a car in the background then. No, it's it was now. the it's whole. So it was there for like the last half hour. That's so <laughs> weird. Okay, because all I did was push something in. Um. Yeah, I think it must have just been like a little bit of a loose connection, but now we crisp. Oh my god, um, that's so annoying. I'm so sorry, guys. It's okay. It would like fade in and out, and I was always like, mm. <laughs> "We were we were doing well." I was God. too dedicated to the role play to to break character to tell you to adjust anything. Okay, well I've unplugged a thing, and so it should be fine now, hopefully. Damon. Oh my God. Audio. Why? Anyway, after a normal length conversation between the homies, it is now morning time. morning so let's go find a let's go find a combat section yes let's go find a I combat want to section. find that man and kill him <laughs> all right do you want to do a little a murder of a of a guy all right you guys um based on aya's predictions on the map you were able to, if I recall correctly, narrow it down to two possible places. Yeah. Um, both of which you could conceivably get to today. Um, based on where you think you are on the road. Um, yeah, also, Soot and Adder come out in the morning and they're wearing matching earrings. God bless. Smile. Well, let's start with the spot that's a that's like closer on the road, and then yeah, yeah. work away. As you guys are traveling, go ahead and make some perception checks for me, and I am going to do some survival checks for Aya and Cal, just because they're really lucky with those. Um, to keep an eye out for signs of the group TM. I'm just gonna roll for funsies. <laughs> no. <laughs> As a four. <laughs> Shout out to Soot and only Soot. <laughs> I don't know why I, I have this I concept of Aya being banger at survival. She only has a plus two to it, but like she did so well in Murder's Mark. Yeah, mm -hmm. she, she rolls banger for it for some reason. Um, not when I roll for her, though. Uh, if Skylar wants to do a perception, she could also do a perception. I rolled perception, but I also have a plus four to survival. You can also roll survival if you would like. Well, that's not good. You and Aya never, are just like, we mind. don't see much <laughs> on the road in terms of tracks. Mm. Twenty-five, yes. God bless. Okay, perception. So nineteen, dirty twenty, twenty-five. Um, and the highest survival was a seventeen. Okay. So Cal's gonna let you know that this road is less well traveled um, than as you're getting further north and. You, after you had taken the rightmost fork, it is less um, less well traveled than your previous stretch of road. So signs of heavy foot traffic are more likely to be attributed to your boys. Um, your boys. However, not really a way to be certain. They do keep an eye out, however, for any disturbances in the in the plant life 
around the road to see if anybody's been leaving the road. And at one point they do stop and pause. And it seems like very clearly a spot where the group of Kairos's gang, if you will, had paused and once again left in smaller groups. The rest of you guys who did perceptions, well, not so. So you're a little distracted. I will leave why up to you. <laughs> um, hmm. However, comma. Actually, I should. I'll roll a little. A quick little. Uh... We'll add a percept. I didn't roll well, but... Oh my god, that bonus! He doesn't seem to hear anything of note, although several times there's, like, a particularly loud, like, um, flock of birds overhead and kind of nudges you. Sitting <laughs> um, nudges him back at that. However, the best part about Adder, by the way, is that, yes, he has a plus 13 to perception, um, and he automatically fails any perception check that is sight-based. L. Which is great. So... Fern and the Dykes. You guys do pass a few people on the road. Um, specifically at one point you pass or seem to be coming up on what looks like a pair of travelers riding on horseback beside each other, two separate horses, and they seem to be taking a leisurely pace on whatever this journey of theirs may be, but they do look at you a little bit almost confused just they give you very long looks as they come up on you and start to pass they don't say anything though unless you guys initiate nope victor is just Looking for any hint of which one these motherfuckers are at. Alright. Then they carry on. And you all. Um, could I just do a fun, quick little uh, detect magic? As they're uh like. On the people who passed you? Yeah. yeah. Go for it. Uh, I don't know why I phrased that as if you would need <laughs> to roll for it. Um, because you do not, you do not detect anything magical about them. Okay. Nothing. Yeah. Okay. Nothing's vibing, no kind of illusion, no kind of enchant, no, no vibes. Okay. Um, you do, when you do a Detect Magic Sweep, you do notice that Ring of Dogs um, and Gold Trawlers lingering remnants of enchantment that had sort of stayed on them yesterday mm -hmm. are very nearly faded now. Okay. Does that it's like carry over onto the, our same party members? Yeah, the party members... Um, Cal and Skylar both seem to be completely clear of it. Um, so, Skylar, you, like, you're very aware now. You're able to differentiate, like, this is the experience. This is what I believe was happening. Um, and you still don't have any memory of it being the man in the mask there, but you know, like, hmm, that was some bullshit. I was fooled. You were bamboozled. Um, Rip Scallion. Rip Scallion. Oh. 
you guys carry on. And... <laughs> Sorry, I keep getting distracted by notifications in another server. Mm. Because a friend has done some marvelous art of my beautiful, beautiful barbarian, and I'm very delighted by it. Yes. Um, yes. She's, she's beautiful, and I love her. We're going to take a short recess for me to share this, because... Yes. Rye bread. Rye! Oh, bless. Yay! The bread. <laughs> the bread. The bread. Uh, she is so important to me. Anyway. You guys eventually reach the point where the terrain has changed enough and Aya seems pretty confident that the first of her two locations is probably in this area over in this direction based on what you can see with the terrain with the way that the land is shaped it would be a good spot sort of off the road and over a hill on the other side to set up a larger sort of base camp that would be somewhat protected from the road and an easy place to be. Mm -hmm. You can't see anything from the road, but you're pretty sure if I had to make a spot, I'd probably do that spot. And Cal, as they're looking, is like, Somebody definitely has gone off the road here. All right, I think we have found our location. All right. So do we want to leave the curtain horses here, or do we want to continue on with that? No, I think it's best to leave them just off the side of the road. Everyone else seems to be uh, walking, as it were, so don't want to break assumptions. Mm. Ada? Aye? You'll have to be towards the front. I know you might not know exactly where you're walking, but... I'll figure it out. You'll need to be one of the first faces they see. Are we just doing this like that right now? Like Why just strolling, strolling in like at this moment. Is there something you all want to do first? Well, I don't know. I sort of assumed that there'd be... A, more, a little more discussion of the goal. In terms of... Because if I'm walking in first... And I am. Let's get that clear. I am walking in first. I am walking you through the camp. To Kairos. Once he sees me, he's gonna know something's, some shit is happening. Because he left me to die, and I'm very alive, and I brought the people who he left me to die with. So... Do we have perhaps a technique or a goal or a way we would like to do anything? Anything? I mean, as far as I know, the what we were planning to do maybe was to have you bring us in at least. Or maybe even ask the people that are there where Kairos is at the moment and then kind of ready ourselves to just ambush him. I mean, it seems kind you of... Don't, I don't know. You don't need to be the first one on Kairos. You just need to get us past the first ring. What I'm saying is that... Me entering first... It's not that I'm, like, concerned for my physical well-being. It's that... Kairos uh, makes good use of... My powers of observation, 
you could say. And I don't really want him to be keen on uh, talking to me. Um, straight away, as it were. So, am I leading you straight in? And then just hoping he's fixated on somebody else? I mean, we could always have you step back as we're getting closer to the center. Yeah. We really just need you to bre breach the lines. That That's all. As soon as we start getting past that first set of tents, you can always move back through the group as if you are helping to make sure everything's getting through. Okay. Alright. I think I think maybe uh, Skylar and Cal up front. Fast and possibly at least give let him question a little bit whether how far underneath a enchantment they both are if he sees them coming and right. if not move faster rather than uh, carefully shock can be as good as surprise sometimes and if we need it I do have a vial of invisibility it will wear off if you end up um, attacking anybody under the guise of it, but if we want to use something as a surprise. I think if anyone's going to drink it, I think it might be Ad is the best. I was actually thinking the same thing. He obviously has at least some... Uh, understanding of your capabilities, Ada, and you're right, he might target you initially to try to get you back on his side. And what we could do is have it, you lead us in, we could take a little side path, and it has to be applied, but once it's been applied, it it's there, um, and nobody should be able to see you. Alright. So, there's like, Okay. All right, sure, fuck. <laughs> I mean, this is the most planning we've done for something in uh, most of it, I think. I assume putting Kairos down, either whether that is uh, alive or not. And then the other one. You know, play that one by ear. If Kyrus dies and the enchantment breaks instantly and suddenly he doesn't know what he's doing, he doesn't have to die. But, you know, if it's one of us or him. And she shrugs. Right. It's alright with me. Alright, if anyone else has anything they want to prepare, now would be the time. Let me see my stuff. Do I have anything else good? Are you guys intending um, to bring the 12 bandits you have with you? Hmm. I mean, maybe? I, Victor, I don't know. Victor votes no. Yeah. I don't know if they should come with it, especially if we want a small group. <laughs> uh, the, band the bandit kennel is the w is the horse cart. <laughs> what? Just just leave the bandits with in the car. You crack the windows. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. I mean, unless they want to come with, but I feel like maybe they should stay back. Especially with their numbers. And they have clearly shown that they are not very good at resisting certain effects. And Victor does not want numbers to turn very rapidly. Mm-hmm. I mean, if need be, they could just be on the edge. But then, you know, they could be spotted and it would be very odd to have a group of, like, nearly, I don't know, 15 people just there. Um, so I think it might just be best for them to stay here and, I don't know, make camp or something. Well, 
Booker? Yeah? You all good here? I mean... Do you not want us, like... You don't want backup? We got guys. Maybe be within shouting distance? If you hear some noise, I mean, I guess come. But... Honestly, if we're just there to take care of that guy... And see if we can get your people out. Or figure out where they've gone. I don't know if we need all of you for that. Yeah, second wave backup might be nice. Fifteen's a little bit of a large group to not draw a immediate a suspicion, I don't think. By fifteen, you mean nineteen. <laughs> nineteen, yeah. Well, that's with us included, though. Yeah. There's twelve, yeah, there's twelve. I, I knew what I meant. You all know okay. what I meant. Yeah. There's eight dogs, four trawlers. Victor would six, have said the right number. Six of you and one adder. Yeah, I'm just... <laughs> Insert number of people here in our <laughs> Parker's just like, okay, we can we'll Okay, we'll leave Sven and Bob and Jimmy and they can watch the motherfuckers and me and Corinne and Mace and uh Oh god, what's the last what's the last dog's name? Morgan? Morgan! Thank you, Parker. We'll, uh... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be fine. It'll go well. This is gonna go well. You gotta find the guy. It's gonna go well. Alright. Adam? Alright, like, for real. For real, this is what's happening. Yeah. Okay, alright, let's go. So we'll give him just a little bit of a clap on the shoulder. You're gonna have to give me the initial direction. I. Yeah. Uh, Victor will probably, like... Uh, Skyla, you're good at looking for things. <laughs> you and Adder, you and Adder up front. Oh shit, I'm sorry, I just turned your thing down, Jamie. You, there was a background noise before and I turned you down. <laughs> uh, so, Victor's suggestion is Adder and Skylar, Cal, Aya, Victor, Soot, in the back. And then the, the dog's like 20 feet behind. Alright. Uh, Fern as well in there in the yeah. back with the back. Sorry, I was like, I know I'm forgetting somebody. Who am I losing? <laughs> I was like staring at the player list and I was like, who? <laughs> Where are they? Where is my friend? <laughs> yeah, start, start moving. All right. As you guys start going, um, Skylar make a perception check for me. Mm -hmm. And Adder's gonna make another one. I'm gonna fully admit that I decided to roll Adder's publicly so I could flex the bonus. Um, <laughs> a little better. I got a 22. 10 right. plus 12. So did he. Um, you said stealth? Nice. Uh, I I don't think we necessarily need stealth. What are we rolling? Uh, I uh, asked Skylar to and Adder to roll perceptions because they uh, were in the. If you guys want to be stealthy, roll stealth. If you want to be so J chillin' low key, I want to be chillin'. Yeah, I think it's more like that. Like we're supposed to be here, swag. 
Okay, we're supposed to be here. Swag is going to be a bluff check. Oh, I'm so good at fucking bluff checks. Let's go. Big same, dude. Also oh, same. that was a bad roll, though. Oh, fuck. fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. I hate dice rollers. Oh, I just realized I have my fucking physical dice I keep in my bag. I should have mm. used those instead. Oh, well. Sissy. Oh, damn. Okay. It's better than I thought. Okay, Adam. Nice. God All damn. Right. Why is everybody rolling better than Sit today? Jesus. Dice Roller hates me. <laughs> He's too gay. Uh, <sighs> it's the extra Are earring. It makes him gay. <laughs> All right. Where is Bluff? Alright, bird girl. And cow. Why is cow's bluff so high? It doesn't oh, really geez. matter. It's fine because the other rolls were kind of stacked, not gonna lie. Nice. Mm. So... As you guys approach, hmm, let me rephrase, as you guys leave the road and sort of crest over that hill, it's not the only hill. It seems like it's this hill and down again and up again. You go down the little valley and Skylar, you hear before you see anything, because there's still another hill, a uh, distant conversation and sounds of things moving and general vibes of camp tasks are occurring. <laughs> Adder, as you draw closer, after you hear that, Adder... Um, takes a moment where he stops using his cane in the typical side-to-side -side swing and plants it into the ground briefly. And he's like, yeah, right, that's campful, for sure. Um, couple, couple groups of tents on the very outskirts, sort of farther removed, and then sort of a more of a ring, and then, and then cars, so, should I tone in? Yep. Alright. And you guys, following Adder, stroll up and over the hill, and look down. And on this side of the hill, filling sort of a large depression in the landscape, is a large camp. You see... Easily... A dozen or more groupings of multiple tents, some with just one or two some with as many as five, um, all sort of spread out in that way where, like, if you were at a communal campground type of situation, you know, you're far enough away from other people that you can feel like you've got your own space, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but still, like, there's other people right there. Mm -hmm. Um... From the direction you're coming, you do indeed see closer to you a few, two, three sort of scattered groupings of two or three tents. Um, and Adder takes a deep breath.
and leads you all forward toward the first of the tents. There are a few people sort of out and about within the tents or within the group within the tents. And the first person who actually looks up at you um, is a dwarf man with an armload of firewood um, that he's moving to move into the sort of central fire pit, pretty small fire pit in the middle of his ring of three tents. And he looks up, looks at the rest of you, just nods in a friendly sort of greeting, smiles at you all, and then goes back to his task. All right. Continue forward un- uh, till we're past that initial group of, like, tents there. Yep. Mm-hmm. You guys make it easily through the first mini campsite between two others. And I am going to put you all onto the map as you make it past the outskirts. I love maps. And Who wrote smut on the books? <laughs> I have no idea. Jamie. Jamie. <laughs> What, what? What? Where? What are you doing on my? Hold on. on. Oh yeah, I wrote that. Yeah, I wrote that a while back. Yeah. Not the smut. Okay, (laughs) I. You got. Sorry. You're banned from the landing page. (laughs) Dang it! I didn't even do anything today. You guys are gonna be in the upper right corner. Um. So you are up here because I didn't want to make the map big enough to spread out like the farthest um Mm -hmm. farthest fucking camp so I'm gonna put Adder on the am I gonna put Adder on the map there he is I have put Adder on the map where he should be come back here we've gotta put on your invisibility sunscreen (laughs) um and the rest of you guys would be behind him Oh, I thought I was towards the front. Yeah, no, you were toward or... you were towards the front with Adder. Uh, you sorry. were towards Adder. Adder is here. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. Before we go f- like towards the central area, we're uh, gonna uh, find a place that's not like overridden with people. Like, what would make sense for us to duck around a corner and apply the invisibility to Adder? Yeah. Um. And so. Oh. Go ahead. No, you go for it. I was just gonna say, also, while doing that, Soda's going to put Mage Armor on himself also. (laughs) Alright. The potion of Mage Uh, Armor that he owns. I don't know how long that takes, or the... How long it lasts. Hold on. And how much it ups my armor? I'm not sure. It is... You get a plus four bonus to your AC, and it lasts, um, an hour. Gotcha. Um, oh my goodness gracious. But between, we'll say that by the time you've reached this point on the map, Adder has already um, become invisible Adder. Um, his invisible sunscreen has been applied. <laughs> his invisible sunscreen has been applied. Let me put a cow on the map. And that's going to be up here. And also an Aya on the map. Yo. That plus four to AC makes Soot's AC is 17. That's sexy. God I'm also going to, I'm going to pop Shield of Faith on myself as well, please. Okay. I might cut pop shield on myself because I think it lasts multiple rounds in this version. Uh, let's see. Uh, 
Um, shield lasts uh, one minute per level, so it lasts two minutes. Um, okay. Yeah, then I will do that. I will pop shield. All right. So, Skylar has shield on for two minutes. Adder has invisibility on for three plus minutes. Um, Victor has shield of faith. So has mage armor. Anybody else have any last minute prepping, buffing, excitement they would like to do? I do not believe so. All right. We'll say, uh, for convenience's sake, that Adder gets you um, past this tent um, before he sort of waits for an indication that it's chill and good to take his little invisibility thing and then goes invisible. So the people in this group of tents saw him leading you in and reacted much the same way as the guy out there. Mm -hmm. And now Adder is going to have a little, little indicator of his invisibility and I don't know what that is going to be. What, what, what image shall I use for him? Sure. That. But that boy, invisible. Actually, invisible. I could just put him on the GM player and you guys could have no idea where he is. God bless. Yep. <laughs> He'll be gone. Adder be gone. <laughs> Adder be gone. I love that these- God, now I'm just like fucking- <laughs> the, You watch these two people just slathering shit on themselves and one goes invisible. <laughs> just look- He- it was- I feel like I need to clarify. The invisibility wasn't one of the ointments. It was actually a potion. Oh, was it? I thought it was a like an ointment. Um, the two of the other things I gave you were ointments. Um- the invisibility potion was actually a drinkable beverage. Okay, okay, okay. I'm it's not, not sure actually why I thought not it drinking was a something. <laughs> I think I'm thinking about um in D and D the um the stuff for like being ethereal. There's mm. like one that you like can wipe on yourself. I think that's what I was thinking about. I also I did give you two ointment based products, but yeah. none of these. Um you imagine? But can you imagine being like, oh, here's time for my skincare, and then you put the invisibility cream on? <laughs> Your skin is so clear. Oh my god. You're so clear, and, you're invisible. <laughs> and and Parker. Yeah. Sorry. Words. You have words. Oh, no. I didn't have words. Okay. I thought you were trying to say something. I'm sorry. No. I just... I am neurotic about everyone on the map being in a proper place. And I cannot Fair. move people. Oh, where... Where do we all need to be? Close, like, Cal's right ne behind Skylar. Oh. I forgot that I am in charge of these two, and I was like, yeah, they should move, probably, huh? I'm trying to think. I yeah, need to be close go. enough to peace bond one of those fuckers, so... I need to be... Peace bond range 25 feet plus 5 feet every two levels. So I think I can cast at 30 feet, right? Yep. Okay, so I need to be within 30 feet. <laughs> hmm. That was such a strained yup, PK. Sorry, I had to do math spontaneously, and I was not emotionally prepared Sorry. for the toll. <laughs> Whoa, during Pathfinder math? Math yeah. in my math-based tabletop RPG? Pathfinder Insane. more like Mathfinder. Oh, uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah! yeah. Mathfinder math finder sounds like the name of one of those bad edutainment like video oh, games God. you played in elementary oh, school. Yeah. I feel like I probably oh, yeah. said Mathfinder as a child. I, it, they had that very... on cool math games. It, it, it's, yeah. Yep, exactly. It's like that little like fish thing. I don't remember if you guys remember, but yeah. It's like a D and D themed math game to get God. the kids into it. I mean, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, that would have been so dope as a child. <laughs> 
Anyways. Uh, yeah. So. You guys can sort of see the general layout of the camp. You kind of know that this uh, big center zone is the, is the zone Adder was talking about. There is, from this distance between the tents, you can see a guy, not a guy you recognize, uh, cooking some birds over the fire. Um, and this young lady is not actually there. She's, I put her, she's here. She can be there. But yeah, you guys are where you are at. Tell me what you're doing. So it's gonna like walk up here just for a moment and just be like, I mean, there's a couple of horses over there. I could try and spook them with matches. Maybe pull a couple people away. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Uh, PK? Yes. Does anyone, does anybody feel like particularly friendly? In the camp as a whole or in uh, your that, party? That, uh, it, in the camp that I can see currently. Um, make a, make a, make a check. Make one of your, your checks. I am my checks. Your checks to, to yeah. vibe check the friendliness of it all. That's a 27. Oh, 27. Jesus. Yeah, okay. So, this is an important clarification. Are you looking for somebody who feels particularly friendly in the sense that they're particularly friendly to someone and or anyone or particularly friendly in the sense that they are receptive to you? Uh, the first one. Okay. Um, there's a lot of really friendly energy in this camp. Mm. There's a lot of really friendly energy in this camp. Um, even though it's all sort of separated and people are clearly in groups um this i mean this young lady in red um has clearly just walked over from a different camp come to chat um with the gentleman at the fire cooking the pheasants and just just the energy is Fern, you think you could have a field day here if you really wanted, just because everybody's uh, so friendly. Hmm. Fun. Cool. Okay. Fun Thank and you. fresh. Of course. Oh, man. Oh, this is going to end so badly for me. Smiley mm. face. Uh, Victor, uh, yeah, Victor kind of like, you know, that's not actually a half bad idea, so. Thank you very much. Live for the chaos a little bit. Matches. Alright, seven summon matches. Summoning your boy to do a task. Yeah, um, I can summon him from my point. Uh, 30 feet, so. My matchbox token. I need him to be there. He is. Him. Him go here. Okay. So he's away from me. And I'm just gonna point at the horses and just say, "Spook him. Get a boy." Um, matchbox. Um, Kazoom. <laughs> <laughs> Overshoots it a little, and then, yeet. At the horses. I'm gonna make, I guess, an intimidation check for Matchbox. Come on, buddy. You're so, you're so long and scary. 
I don't know. I feel like he probably gets a circumstantial bonus on this because he's a <laughs> hunting dog. Yeah. I'll just decide. I'll just decide what happens. The if temptation to roll will save for horses two. right now is so high. Actually, you know what? I am going to do that. I'm just going to roll saves for the horses. Jeez. Even if we can just get one of them to run, that would be enough for them to be like, ah, we gotta go get the fucking horses and deal with this dog. Okay. This horse and this horse don't fucking like that fucking dog. And they are on... This one is on a lead because there's a guy here. This one is just kind of tethered, like, to a, you know, pinned... It's got a lead on him, but nobody's holding it. Um, and they're both gonna try to bolt uh, out off the map. <laughs> With the guy still holding the lead. <laughs> so, I'm just, I'm just gonna kill the horses. The horses go bye-bye. Boop. Um, and this guy got dragged a few feet before he let go of the let go of the lead. Matchbox is here, thriving, surviving for all of 12 seconds. Um, <laughs> and this guy's like, not too happy about this. He's shouting, he's yelling after the horses, he tries to run after them for a second, and then... I think we can try and use this as a way to sneak closer. You can, this is definitely, people certainly in, oh god, why am I highlighting so much stuff? People certainly in this camp here, um, and down here, all the ones closest to the horses are definitely distracted by what's going on here, as are Pheasant Man and Red Girl, um, who are gonna come a little bit over here to try and figure out what's going on. Pheasant Man is attached to the bench that he's sitting on. <laughs> he sits um, up and the bench comes with him <laughs> the bench comes with him <laughs> but they're heading over this way what are you doing in the next 12 seconds or so go 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 <laughs> yes yep, gonna... skip, skip, skip. okay go away this way yeah Victor's got an eye on the biggest tent there Okay. So it's gonna try and go around. Just yeah, so we're not think... all on one side. Mm -hmm. I think Victor is very much getting like how soot and eyes attention towards the big tent. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Cal and Aya will follow your direction, Victor. And Cal, they're both fast, I think. At least Cal is fast. Cal's just going to go ahead and circle around to the front of the tent. I will follow. I think that's about as far as it can get. Actually. This was two rounds. Yeah, I think that's about as far as yeah. it can get. I Approximately two rounds, but you can you can have double movement in each round. Okay, so and he's going to just kind of... You can have quadruple your movement to do okay. anything you want. Here. I need to just at least have like 30 feet of, of sea distance. Maybe if I stay there, it'll be okay. Yeah. That might be Turn okay. just hanging, hanging all the way back? Uh, I guess. I, they're kind of like, just like uh, along for the ride at this point. <laughs> Mm-hmm. So Whatever's they're... happening is gonna happen. Yeah, they're gonna hang back. They don't really want to get in a conversation with any of these people right now. Mm -hmm. Gonna end badly. Okay. From it's... my position, can I see motherfuckers in the big tent? Yeah, I'm actually gonna do... not actually trying to draw a circle, but, you know, I guess there's a weird oval now. Cool. It just lives there. 
Um, what I'm actually trying to do is outline the tent so I can then get rid of the tent. Mm. And uh, instead have tent shaped vibes here. Tent go bye bye. Tent shaped object. Um, tent shaped <laughs> object, exactly. It just looks like Pac Man. It is Pac Man. <laughs> uh, but more importantly. Awesome. More importantly, uh, there's guys in the tent. Um, As I presumed there would be. As you presumed. Um, you. Anybody? I'm going to say Cal and Victor are the only ones who can see straight away. Mm -hmm. um, you do see the man in the mask, bemasked as always. Um, and he is sort of laying back on a bedroll. Um, is he feeling like shit? <laughs> You want to roll a sense motive to see how 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 he's feeling? Yes, please. Go ahead and roll me a sense motive then. You've been bescurvied. I'm, I'm that's just... gonna be that's gonna be a sixteen. Um, based on your knowledge of um scurvy, which is fairly extensive, if you had to pick a man in that tent who had scurvy, it would definitely be that one. Hmm. She is proud of herself. Um, and if you had to pick a man in that tent, um, Finn, who was kneeling by his bedroll and uh, trying to get him to drink what looks like a glass of orange juice, uh, it would be it would be the other one. Um, mm -hmm. So, all this to say is that they are on the ground and not. necessarily up and at him. Mm -hmm. uh, she's gonna motion uh, Soot forward towards Cal. So that Soot can get in and see uh, uh, Finn boy. Are you guys peaceful. trying to move stealthily at this I think point? we should. Yes. Yeah. Okay, then I'm gonna need stealth checks for you. Um, From you, rather. Yeah, yeah. If there's a way that Soot can, like, see through the tent, like, not through the basic bit, because I assume there's, like, gaps if it's, like, a traditional tent. Um, um you can't really see unless you were, like, get on the ground and try okay. to... I think mine's plus... It was plus the right. Yeah. Please roll good stuff, please. There we go, that's decent. Victor is kind of using the, 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 the tent over there as sort of helpful cover. Alrighty. Adam, what is your stuff? <sighs> Said to himself, I guess I'm just gonna have to jump in front and be like, surprise, peace bond. <laughs> I'm gonna roll a number, but you guys need to understand it's because of the invisibility, so. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Holy <laughs> shit! Adder! <laughs> That's so sexy. <laughs> Adder just broke my rule, my my over 40 rule. <laughs> I love him. Which means I start killing now. Um, <laughs> God bless, I didn't think it would happen this soon. No. Um, nobody has any idea where Adder is even, but like you guys lost track of him. No fucking clue. He's around, you think. You yeah, hope? I think I think I tried to keep track of him at first. Uh, like the sounds of his footsteps and whatnot, but then she realized, hey, wait, no, he's not my boyfriend, and then stopped. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Um, okay, so 16, 17, 21, 44... I need to roll for the other ones because they're mine. <laughs> Good job, Cal. Aya. Good job, Aya. Uh, did Fern do a stuff? Yes. Okay. Uh, okay, that's better than I thought it was going to be. All right. Uh, so, I'm speaking. 
Um, Cal did roll the lowest, and Cal is also the one who is right there. Yeah. So, there is a moment where everybody around the tent can sense... Ah. Cal's been spotted. If you can't see the people inside the tent, you can see Cal's expression. And Cal's expression is one of a man who's been spotted. Um, <laughs> mm-hmm. Kind of do that grimacing emoji face. Um, and Victor, Victor just makes a sign of just go. Go. And Run. Go ahead. The two people in the tent, Kyrus and it looks like Finn, um, are scrambling to their feet. And this is where we're going to roll initiative. Yay! Combat! Combat! My strat works! My girl's a tactician! You guys got to the got to the center of the... Yeah! The strat is real! I get to use my combat music! I rolled good initiative for once. Where is my initiative? I think I have a plus three, right? Yes. Okay. Alright, I'm just rolling to get myself yeah. on the board. Oh, come on! Okay. If y'all just want to roll Ooh, to get 17 is pretty the good. Oh! Oh! Did, what did you roll? Ah! Yes. Nocturne! Nice. Nocturne! Nocturne! Our initiative what? curse is broken for the night. Yeah! Yeah! You're free. yeah. We passed uh, it. <laughs> I can't put myself on the board because I don't have a. All right, you don't have a sheet. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I refuse to make a sheet. Right. I wish you would actually. It would be very helpful for me if you did. Um, uh, it's. I know. When you're not here, I would really appreciate it. Um, yeah. However, let me do for Cal. We passed our initiative curse to um, to Ren for the night. I'm sorry, Ren. Well, the one that I oh, rolled no, right, for yeah. was um, oh, then just to get on the board. I rolled a 17. <laughs> and I, uh... you you guys made the the board like you you set the initiative mm-hmm. um, so that I could have a good initiative. <laughs> All right, and we are going to sort. Oh, wait, I just finished doing all the player characters. I still need to roll for the other motherfucker. God damn it. Ah, nah, mm-hmm. they got us. Up. We, could, we we got there first. <laughs> they don't need to do anything. Oh, I mean, if I'm being perfectly fucking honest, they rolled a four and a three, so it doesn't oh, matter. <laughs> um, So they're going at the end anyway. But we're, we're adding them. Victor is about to be so smug. <laughs> And so, just to be clear, what are we doing with the people? Are we killing them? Uh, knocking them unconscious? Um, the we're most certainly killing Mask Man. The other folks yeah, is yeah. probably like, if if these randos are actually involving themselves in combat, they get to be knocked unconscious. Um, mm-hmm. Okay. Try not to kill and, them if you can. And Mask Man is red, or um, yeah, Mask- so Mask Man is this guy. Okay. Okay. And- okay. Cool. And the man named Finn, who was the other one with Adder, who was apparently the person who stabbed the people at the bandit camps, is, yeah, he's this guy. Mm-hmm. He's got a yeah. double ponytail because I chose a random token for him, and now that's what he looks like in my brain, unfortunately. Finn. Well, the curse. Finn. Oh, Finn. Ponytail Finn, as we like to call him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, old ponytail Finn. <laughs> All right. Hi. Maybe it's bad that I rolled so high because I don't know what to do. (laughs) Well, you can Um, delay your turn if you would like. Um. Uh. But I kind of want to move. Is the thing. I just like you can move and delay your action. You can hold an action. Okay. If you like. Yeah, I want to get just just over here, just so I'm like closer to mm-hmm. everybody else, yep. and not like behind the tent, and I can see. 
Mm-hmm. Yep. And then I will hold my action for stuff and things to happen. Okay. What, what specific do you, it doesn't have to be like a specific action, but what vibe are you waiting for? Wait, hold on. Well, if I go, if I go here, that's 10 feet to the, which, which square is the entrance? Uh, this square, the 10 foot square. Okay, so, uh, then I'll go here, and if someone exits the tent, I- I will trip them. <laughs> or try to. Okay. With- with my guys. Alright, with your guys. Nice. Alright. Good, good, good after- it's Aya's turn. Wait. Yeah, okay. I, I got a peace bond, a motherfucker. <laughs> Aya is, um... She, she went, like, around the tent, like, she went here, 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 but, like, for the sake of where the tent is in the space, like, she she did a little U and ended up inside the tent. Nice. Uh-huh. Um, and then she is going to um, attack with her fan. Yeah. She's so sexy. Yes. Um, shout out to nice. her. Shout out to the net 20. You've mm-hmm. rolled two of those tonight. <laughs> I'm... I guess... It's the power of gay love or something. I guess. So that's... 12 damage. Just right off the bat. Alright. Mm-hmm. Good to know. It is now Skylar's turn. Hmm. Uh, and so the plan is to disable Mask Guy as quick as possible, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yep, yep, okay. And bloop, 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 bloop. Uh, can I move right here? Yeah, for the sake of... Okay. You will moving right there take an attack of opportunity from oh that's right um there actually i think i will yeah i think i i will move and take the attack of opportunity okay he's gonna do a fun and funky little fun and funky little roll oh my god you guys aren't (laughs) is it a nat 20 yeah i'm including the screenshot with the with aya's um roll right above it so <laughs> you know God. um because i had it set to gm roll oh boy <laughs> i'm genuinely Blue-lad. extremely uh. sorry for something oh Uh-oh. no well let's roll the stuff that's not multiplied first <laughs> what you Jesus. don't know what you don't know is i'm immune to all crits and all the damage <laughs> from crits um yeah um you're actually immune to um anything however That's comma true. however comma this guy bypasses um all immunities <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah let's just roll that okay and we will also roll <sighs> okay PK, come on don't be like this pk okay so you take, I'm really sorry. Let me do some math here. Oh, oh my God. This might change what's it does next turn. Are we killing already? Are we, are right? we killing? <laughs> the killing has begun. <laughs> you take um, 16 points of damage. Oh shit. Oh, Jesus. Where do I find my hit points? Oh, guess how many hit points I have. I have 17. Oh, well, oh, I know what I'm god. doing next turn. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Uh, I, yeah, the thing about this man is that he's a rogue. Fuck. 
Oh, okay. Spicy, spicy. And he crit on his first attack, and I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, no, that's fair. That all makes sense. So I'm as gonna... you were coming around to dodge past, and you were like, I can weather a hit from this motherfucker, he pulled out a blade and dug it into the side of your ribs and fuck. Yep, yep, and... Uh... But, you know, it's just a flesh wound, so, um, yeah, I'm gonna pull up my sword cane and try to wail on this guy. I'm, like, woozy and shit. Um, let's see, where is my sword cane, sword cane equipment? Swain. Sword cane. Uh, sword cane. Uh... Oh, God, where do I even find it? Uh, I think I have to just look up Sword Cane because I don't. Oh God, cheats, please. Ah, <sighs> because it should be here. I think I don't know how to ha add items in this thing. Uh... Yeah, sorry, a moment. Uh... <laughs> Come on. Okay. So, oh god, pop ups go away. Uh it one D four damage. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And then uh cool and Dex because finesse sweet. Um Yep, so stab. You know, um, oh, how do I tell what what the class the hit is? Um, it's your base attack bonus plus your dex in this instance. Okay, okay. Uh, so that would be um, so I rolled a seven. Then I have a plus. It's probably not gonna hit. Uh, what's my plus to hit? Um. Ooh. Base attack bonus to the plus one at this level. Oh, okay. It doesn't. Wait, I thought this. A base attack bonus plus your dex. So. Oh, okay. Uh, so it's. Uh, yeah, it's, it's not very high. I rolled like a seven plus four total then. Okay, uh, so it does yeah, not yeah. hit. It does weapon. not hit. However. Uh, you are now inside the tent, and that's very exciting for you. I am. Sorry about your hit points, dude. Ow. Uh, it's like, yeah. It is... Such a turn now. Hello, I can't peace bond you. Um, I don't know that in character, so I'm gonna run the 15 feet in front of the flap here. Um... Take a look, see inside, go, oh boy. Um, and I'm just gonna keep running because that guy has his weapon drawn and I can't do anything about it. But um, I am gonna whoa Matchbox be upon ye in the tent and um, have it go and uh, or have him go and bite Mr. Man right here in the back. Okay. Chomp. Matchbox is in the tent. Okay, so that uh, is... There's so many creatures in that tent. <laughs> There's a lot of people in this tent right now. It's a, it's a, it's a party in the tent. So I'm gonna roll the hit. 1d20 plus 2. Oh, that won't hit at all. Uh, damn, Matchbox does not... Does not successfully make the bite, but he's in there for another round yet. Get him, buddy! And I'm just gonna run. Um, I could run. Throws dog in the tent. Let's, let's just go, like, right here. We'll be fine there. That's all I can do. Alrighty. Oh, but he does also pull out his crossbow. <laughs> Crossbow. Just, just in case. Alright. 
I might be about to make your day sad, PK. Um, <laughs> uh, one second, because there's a gentleman going right before you. Um, you can't see him because he's on the GM layer because it's at her. Uh, oh, my boy. Your boy is there. Um, and you can't see him now. Um, and you still can't see him now, Soot. Yep. Um, because uh, he just, like, completely 100% like, disregarded. Like, he was like, I probably shouldn't be up there because, you know, that. Um, now he's here because, <laughs> well, fuck it. Fuck it, we ball. Mm hmm. And he's going to make a rapier attack. And he's gonna do bad on it. Damn it, Adder. Oh. Okay. That's okay. But he's there. He actually could do something as his swift because of the nature of him, which would be really funny. Do it. <laughs> yes! Yes! Um, so what happens is Matches is in the tent. <laughs> tries to bite, fails to bite. Adder is in the tent, tries to stab, fails to stab, says, fuck it. And, um, literally just fucking chomps this man. Yes! <laughs> um, having a character with a bite attack is the best. Now it is Victor's turn. Uh... Victor, as she's going for the tent, is, um... Burn soot, make sure no one else interferes. Um, kind of, you know, the motioning to the general camp around. Burn, burn nods. Uh, is gonna come in, and I would like to cure wounds the man, not cure wounds, uh, inflict wounds to the man I scurvied. Um, God damn you. Okay, yeah, is that a save or an attack? It is a save. It is going to be a, uh, will save. Okay. They're not massive will saves. 15, What's your DC. 15? I'm so depressed. <laughs> <laughs> Good God, I'm so depressed. <clears throat> if it had been a really low number that I knew immediately was failing it, I wouldn't be so depressed. But I had to do the math and find out that he got a 14. No. And I'm really oh depressed. God. So roll your damage. <laughs> uh, that is going to be six points of damage. All right. Not a very good roll, but it's damage. Um, but it is damage. And this guy um, has a scurvy and is sad. Mm -hmm. So... And then I'm gonna try to leave just enough room for Cal to slip in with me. Okay. You could, if you wanted, move yeah. to the next Yeah, yeah, you know what, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. Without provoking an attack of opportunity. You're never gonna guess who's entering the tent. Cal! Cal. <laughs> so there's your boy, Live P. Jones. Where's Kick your his ass. Blood rage. God bless. Um, Cal kill. Cal kill moments. <laughs> um, let me just double check and see what's going on here. Cause you had and a bad day. <laughs> I just gotta. I just got a real quick look. See what the what blood rage does for a. Uh, oh. Right, okay. Just 
temporarily. Pop these mods on. And a tacky boy. All right, Cal. Nice. Cal the uh, clawing. That's for damn sure. Slits. And this guy doesn't seem too stoked about it. You have fully surrounded my men. <laughs> Get surrounded, yo. There is so many in that tent. There's so many people in this tent. I was really hoping he'd go down before he had a turn, but okay. Yeah. Not quite. Um... Where's the fun in that? <laughs> let me... Let me tell you, I'm not stoked about where his hit points are at this particular <laughs> point in the combat, considering. <laughs> However, um, he's not quite dead, nor is his buddy, um, his good pal, his friend even. Um, so he's going to try to attack Cal. And he's going to roll, like, ass. Oh, no. As he has scurvy. Uh, no, this is, uh, his... This is the rogue. Ah. Uh, oh, okay. Um. This is Finn. Um, he's going to... With his offhand weapon... That's a little better. He does not, however, get sneak attack on this. What's your fucking damage, bud? <sighs> Don't we wish we still, knew? Is he, still, is he still attacking Cal? Yeah. Okay. And it's bad. Uh, okay. okay. Cal takes literally, um, five points of damage, so the duality of rogues. God, I wish that was me. <laughs> the fucking duality of rogues. Um, yeah. And now it's Kyrus' turn. Alright, everyone get your will saves. <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to say. He kind of turns around, makes a full circuit, um, looking at all of you in this tent. And he says, please, please don't hurt me. I, I, I swear, I swear I don't mean any harm. Please don't hurt me. Oh, Jesus. And everybody uh, make will saves. Everybody in the tent um, make will saves. Oh, Victor! Oh. oh no, does my dog have to make a will save? Your dog does not. Your dog is immune to masks. Oh, okay. L I thought that was going to be 19. the other direction for Victor, and I was excited. 19 on the dice. Nice. <sighs> okay. Eddie. I don't know. Not again. No. And Let me double check something about Calliope Jones right now. Plus two bonus on will saves. All right. Um, I actually calculate that right for Adder. That should be a 14. However, will save for Cal. Ooh. All right. Cal. And Aya. Okay. So that's technically a 14 for Adder and technically a... 14 for Aya as well, because she also has the plus two, and that's technically a five for Cal, however. Oh. Not again, Cal. Not again. Not again. Everybody in the tent sees Cal <laughs> rear back as if horrified by what they've done. I see Aya 
lower her fan. They do not, however, see mm -hmm. Adder make any change in behavior. Nice. So, I'm going to, that is one round. I'm going to point out the fact that it is 1052 and ask how everybody is feeling. Soup. Soup. I wouldn't mind finishing the battle, but also if we need to go and rest, we can rest. Yeah, I'm I'm with Ren of like I don't mind at least pushing for one more round, but Okay. Yeah, I don't think he'll last much longer, so try to down the man if all are agreeable to finish combat all right as we hit the top of the turn order which is fern I... fern you notice first of all the people who had been by the fire how, and were distracted by the horses have now turned around and are moving towards the tent, trying to see what's going on, looking terrified. Mm -hmm. Additionally, people are coming out of the tents nearby. Oh, God. One here... One here, right next to you, Fern. And they look scared. They don't look necessarily like combatants. Mm -hmm. But the one closest to you, Fern, mm -hmm. says, Oh, God! Oh, God! What's happening? your turn. No, I, I, I don't know what to say. Fern wants to bolt. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> is not having a good time. Uh, this, this is this is not this is not a safe environment for your fern. Uh, <laughs> they get they get stressed out. You shouldn't keep them here. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna. Is the tent just open? Yeah. I mean, it's pretty packed in there, but it is open. Close the tent. <laughs> I. Oh my god. I don't know. I can't. I, I can't think of. I can't think of anything else to do. That's so I good. <laughs> Nocturne, you are perfect. Oh my god. I I'm obsessed <laughs> with that choice on so many levels. I had to turn camera off so you could see it. Amazing. I'm so I'm sorry. It's so good, though. It's the only thing I can think of. <laughs> Just Babe, I'm in love with you. Um, I love it. love you, too. Aww. <laughs> okay, yeah. Right. First, the tent <laughs> I like to imagine the like, pause in combat as Fern just walks up, evaluates what's going on in there, then just closes the tent flap so that, and then I'm, we're just like, I'm what? crying. I'm sorry. It's so good. Don't cry. Yeah. <laughs> Fix yeah. It. No, I'm laughing so hard. I'm crying. Fern closes the tent flaps so the people in the tent, the tent flaps get closed. <laughs> um. Ev you can, you can everything is everything is fine. <laughs> Things <laughs> happening in like, there. It's just like when your bed is really messy and covered in old clothes <laughs> and you just pile like, the blankets <laughs> over it. <laughs> oh my god. Um, and I, I'm gonna, 
I'm gonna step in front of it and just just radiate so much nothing's going on here energy. <laughs> make make a your friend check. Oh my God. Please roll well. Come on, you're our friend. Twenty six. <laughs> yeah. Do you say anything or are you just being serene? Um I'm just be serene and you know act like nothing like I, like I'm going to close the tent flap with with the air of like there's no real concern behind here but like you know if I close this off maybe people won't get scared just a just a like a privacy but like nothing's going wrong kind of closing of the a tent little, flap a little, a little privacy for whatever is going on in there yeah yeah like you know like there's no need to like really be nervous about it you know okay i <laughs> sorry <laughs> no i'm obsessed with this i love it <laughs> yeah that was very very good very funny <laughs> I think that might have actually been the best tactical move in that situation you could possibly have made. You don't yeah. know all the reasons why. That's, I mean, that's also, they, that's also why I'm in love with it, because it's not a bad decision. <laughs> Genuinely? I wasn't prepared for anybody to close the tent. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> is, is even even sit you feel like it's probably everything's fine inside the tent <laughs> okay sure my dog's got it handled why not yep uh, tent's closed um tent's i'll still closed. like if they try and if 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 like one of if anybody who is not i don't like um tries comes out of the tent i'll try and trip them Okay. My party right. members are not included. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's Aya's turn. Tent closed. Aya can uh oh Aya can attack a more now. Okay. Aya also has the logical knowledge of what the mask does, I want to point out. Yes. Aya does have the logical knowledge of what the mask does. Um, the thing is, is that there isn't anyone with a mask in this tent. Hmm. And she seems almost distressed as she looks around and sees that others in the tent are still seem intent on attacking. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna role play that up too terribly much because I don't know what's going on in that bird's head, but she seems a little distressed. She has her fan ready and looks like she is fully prepared to strike in defense and even to strike the other guy in the tent, but she can't get there right now because it's too crowded because there's seven people and a dog in this tent and the tent flaps are closed. <sighs> um, it's Skylar's turn. Yeah, and I'm gonna stab her. You are gonna stab her because that shit didn't work on you. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, that's 15 plus, uh, 4. So 19. 19 hits. Roll your damage. And, uh, damage we include, is it just the dice or the, uh... Dice plus strength. Uh, in finesse in this case, right? Uh, uh dice plus strength no matter what. Oh, that real that's really rough. That's okay, how so Pathfinder it's, works. It's, it's, it's so rough. Okay, it's just D four then. Oh, four though. Max okay. damage. God bless. Oh god, that's really rough. Holy fuck. I okay, already gave y'all free weapon finesse. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, I know. I'm just saying that's so rough, Pathfinder. Yep. Uh that's my turn Gotta though. Stop us. 
Mm-hmm. All righty. It be Swift's turn. Oh boy. Um. Anybody? So can I tell from the state of these people? Do any of them have a weapon that they look like they're willing to brandish at this point? None of them do. Um, I, these look like, frankly, so these kind of look like merchant type people. Hmm. All right. Um, I'm gonna try and blend into where I am right now. Try and not, like, draw their attention. Let Fern kind of handle the situation. Okay. Um. Still gonna have my dog try and bite that mask guy's ass, though. <laughs> All right. <laughs> if you want to make a little stealthy boy check for me and make a little attacky boy check yes. for, uh... Um, this is my stealth. Okay, 21. Okay. And then we're gonna roll an attacky attack. A 21! Nice! We okay. <laughs> Bite, Hi. jump, inspired by Adder. Okay, uh, yes. 1D, I think it's a D4 for... Let me check real quick. Uh, do, 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 do. HP, melee, 1d4 plus 1. Okay. Ah, max damage. Good boy. Five points. Good boy. <laughs> I'm so excited for this dog to be kicking the ass of my important enemy. <laughs> Chomp. But I think that marks the end of Soot's turn, and I think matches dissipates now since this is the second round. Yes. Yes, it is the second round. Matches go bye bye. Go bye, matchies. Um. Yeah. Adder. Adder says, I oh, think that's gonna fucking work. And, uh. Does a spicy little I love that I built his sheet so well. I'm so obsessed with my past self who actually put so much work into this. <laughs> yeah. He has damage, but he do be hitting though. Nice. Um and he I'm so sad I don't get to see him work. Oh. <laughs> it's it's okay. It's fine, we'll have moments later, maybe. Yeah. He is going to actually he can add three to that damage because I forgot how Squash Bosh was worth, but he gets to do that. Ooh. Um Okay. That's gonna be what he's doing. Victor. Can you make me another will save, please? Yeah. God, fucking yeah, Victor. <laughs> okay. That is a uh, 18. He's still gonna take half. Fuck. Sorry. <laughs> it's fine. I was so excited. I was like, God bless. He's vibing. <laughs> uh, he's gonna take like four points. Okay. Good to know. It's Cal's turn, if that's Victor's turn. Uh, that, I believe, is all she can do. Okay. She, she's gonna, uh, Cal, I know, we got another threat, and she's gonna point at, um, the, the rogue, Finn. Okay. Could you make a diplomacy check for me? Mm-hmm. Come on, convince. That's gonna be a 13. Alright. Um, on Cal's turn, because they are in a blood rage, when directed to a new target, they full send on it. Um... Nice. And they are going to do... They oh. get two claw attacks, don't they? <laughs> Does that hit my gentleman? Does that hit my precious, precious boy? 
It does? Good boss. Why didn't I give you better armor? Okay. Oh. Shout out to me. Um. Okay. He looks not happy about the clawing that just took place. Um, and is going to, uh, try to stab Cal again about it. That'll hit. People are always stabbing Cal. That's so rude. The thing about Cal is that they're just literally so stabbable. They are quite stabbable. And Cal has killed two people. <laughs> yeah. Minimum damage to but Cal. But also, Cal is cute, hee <laughs> hee. So, so true, so real. Um, and offhand is gonna be at Victor. Mm -hmm. That is a 17 to hit. Uh, currently, I have an 18 AC. Why do you have an 18 AC? Uh, Shield of Faith. Yeah. yeah. Bruh. Why do you think I slapped that shit on me? <laughs> <laughs> Again, Kyrus looks around at all of you and says, I know how it looks, but please, please, just give me a chance to explain. Please. Another round of will saves from everybody. Ooh. Come on, you guys, you got this. Uh, that's gonna be a 14. Okay. Uh, natural 20 for 24. Okay. And everybody else in there... Adder, I need to roll for Adder. Skylar will not be gaslit this time. My Eddie boy. Oh. This guy really is gaslight, huh? Oh, yeah. She's gaslight. Um, let's see. But then where where would we find a get, uh, gatekeeping girl boss? Somewhere in that tent. <laughs> That's true. Probably. <laughs> Skyly's fine. Victor? <sighs> Fuck. Victor... You came into this tent with a fucking bowl. Mm -hmm. You want to kill a motherfucker in a mask. And that is still your goal, and you want to kill this motherfucker so bad. <laughs> Thank God. Wow. Ooh. PK. Oh. <laughs> uh, all right. It is now... His turn. Hi. Um. I don't know what to do. Do the people seem chiller? They do seem chiller, and in fact, you're sort of you are outside the tent, and you've closed the tent flap, which means that weirdly enough, you're kind of in a combat liminal space. So it's like not really. <laughs> there's something weird going on here. There, there's um, only con only combat inside the tent. Literally, there's only something wrong in the tent. Um, and uh, <laughs> so, yeah, I will, I will, I will trip anyone who is not a member of my party or adder, I guess. There's, there's. I will say that the people outside are kind of like this. This young woman comes up to you and is like, "Is everything all right? Is is everybody yes. okay?" Yes, they should be. Um, it's nothing. To, don't. Don't concern yourself too, too much. Just a private matter should all be sorted within, well, should not be long, at the very least. All right. And Fern, here's the thing. You know that probably shouldn't work. <laughs> yeah. But even for me. Even for you, that probably shouldn't work. Well, they, they are very, they are very friendly here, though. He's so friendly. He's so friendly. I'm so friendly. You're so you're, friendly. You're so very friendly. I, I um, can, I so, can okay. feel my negative will save modifier from here. <laughs> it's it's definitely um. 
I'm so excited. It's definitely, we're going to have a real fun time if I have to roll against the mask, guys. Mm. All right. It is Aya's turn. I'm oh, I see. I thought we were just doing the one. Oh, are, are we are just we... doing one more round? Is that what you guys like, wanted? Uh, no. I thought we were going to finish it in the one, but we did not. I have to go, though. So on my turn, you. just roll for Skylar to stab. We'll, just, we'll go ahead. I don't want to keep playing with three people. Um, mm-hmm. Considering as I don't have... Your character people. sheet. The, the sheet or the mental resources for any of it. It's just not the vibe. So what yeah. we'll is where we are leaving off All right. is with... Um, a bunch of people in a tent, everything being so normal and so fine outside the tent, and only There's Victor so much... and Go ahead. Only only Victor and Skylar still seem to remember what you're in the fucking tent for. God. Which yeah. is to stab. Yeah. But yes, I must go. Thank you for game PK. Bye. Okay, and I'll stop recording.